Hola, mi nombre es Jeff Goldick, jefe de anestesia, recuperación y servicio del dolor aquí en el Hospital Carmel, en Haifa. Expresidente de la Sociedad Europea de Anestesiología y Cuidados Intensivos. En este video demostraré cómo el monitoreo de NOL nos ayuda a los médicos a proporcionar una analgesia personalizada al brindarnos un reflejo objetivo de la nocicepción durante la cirugía. Las cirugías maxilofaciales generalmente requieren grandes cantidades de opioides para controlar el dolor del paciente, lo que contribuye a la depresión respiratoria en pacientes que ya experimentan de por sí una inflamación significativa de los tejidos del paladar, comprometiendo las vías respiratorias con la consecuente dificultad respiratoria. Acompáñenme al quirófano y veamos cómo el NOL puede ayudarnos durante estas cirugías. We have now connected the probe which contains four different sensors measuring pletismograph and galvanic skin response for conductance. These are the main two uh, parameters and uh, two complementary parameters supporting them are the skin temperature and movement by accelerometry after a period of around 30 seconds, one minute we will have a numeric value which goes from 0 to 100. Anesthesia is composed by three main components. Hypnosis, the patient has to sleep. Analgesia, we don't want him to feel pain. And relaxation, relaxation that the surgeons need in order to perform surgery. So, we had, until today, a monitor for the neuromuscular function, which is the train of four, and we started using another monitor called BIS, B-spectral index, a kind of electroencephalogram that is showing hypnosis, how deep is uh, the patient sleeping but we didn't have until today a monitor for pain so this null is uh, performing this function during this operation the surgeon will ask us deliberate hypotension because they don't want uh, bleeding from the patient to disturb the uh, the operation itself so in order to be on the safe side and control all the time the uh, perfusion, the cerebral perfusion of this patient, we will use this uh, NIRS monitor called INBOS. We like to compare uh, the anesthesia with the flight. We have the takeoff, which in this case is the induction of anesthesia. We have the flight itself which is maintenance of anesthesia and the landing. The first minute, the null uh, monitor was capturing the data of this specific patient and analyzing this data and converting it to an algorithm. So this will allow us to have for this patient a, what is called personalized anesthesia. That means that we will give all our agents, analgetics and uh, hypnotics, muscle relaxant, according to the monitor, not by automatic calculation of milligram per kilogram, but the, uh, according to the specific needs of this patient. As we can see here, we have a rise of the activity of the sympathetic nervous system with high nociception during intubation. We will mark the event and now we expect these values to go down. Now, after the uh, induction and the intubation, 
the uh, monitor, the null index, was completely stabilized in good values between 10 and 25. And this will allow us to control analgesia separately from blood pressure. You can see a rise at the uh, null during the incision without big changes in uh, blood pressure or in uh, heart rate. According to the values we get from the null index, we could start our sparing uh, of the opioids and using lower doses of remifentanil at different stages of the operation. So the important thing is the trend. So the uh, little changes and peaks we have are not so important. What is important is values uh, for over one minute. As you can see, blood pressure is uh, stable without changes in uh, cerebral perfusion. And we don't have to play with analgesia in order to uh, change the blood pressure of this patient. Because we have null, and null are, is showing correct values for analgesia. This must be an operation uh, with a very, very strong stimulus of pain and nociception. But as you can see, we controlled it perfectly well with low uh, dosage of remifentanil. As you know, opioids can cause post-operative nausea and vomiting and other undesirable side effects. So sparing uh, the quantity of opioids we give during the operation is very important. The value of uh, these here is low, even when the null uh, index value is high. So this is stressing again the difference we have to take in consideration between analgesia and depth of anesthesia, which are separate things, because uh, we want to know which agents to use in each case. We are looking at the emergence of the patient from anesthesia. He is uh, already extubated immediately after the operation, not like uh, our previous protocol that was uh, ventilating the patient 24 hours after the operation. So uh, we could achieve this because we use only the necessary dose of analgesic based in the uh, NOL index. El NOL nos ayuda a reducir los opioides durante estas cirugías, lo que nos permite extubar con confianza al paciente en el quirófano sin temor a un inminente compromiso respiratorio o de las vías respiratorias. Para el paciente poder respirar espontáneamente tan pronto como abre los ojos es un beneficio significativo que ayuda a reducir el estrés y las molestias y mejorar su satisfacción con la experiencia quirúrgica.